So I'm here in DeBerry, Florida doing a install. Uh, I'm working on a almost 99% Florida native pollinator garden. I'm attracting bees, butterflies, and other insects. Um, and now we're putting some grasses in um, for other wildlife as well. <clears throat> um, we end up getting a bunch of birds because of the seeds. So uh, contributing to the wild songbirds of Florida as well. But anyway, while I'm here, I um, wanted to go over some differences in firebush. So we made a mistake last year planting the non-native firebush. Uh, it was sold as native um, and they were such young plants it was really hard to tell the difference um, so now I would like to show you guys the difference so that you don't make the same mistake that we did uh, we in, we are replacing these uh, firebush plants for free uh, it was our mistake and so we're uh, eating the cost of the plants and the installation fees for this uh, because this was our mistake um, but regardless, I mean, that's the right thing to do. Um, but let's talk about some differences here. So the first thing that you can notice is, um, the leaves of this native firebush are already larger than this non-native. So not only are they wider but they're also going to be longer and just generally larger in size and if you could feel the leaves the native firebush leaves feel almost fuzzy without being fuzzy I know that's a weird description but the non-native are very smooth feeling um, and just a completely different texture probably something that you'll have to try for yourselves just to see what I'm talking about. The next thing you'll notice is the flower itself. Uh, on the right hand side is the non-native and you can see that it has way more yellow um, in the color range. Uh, it still has the red and some orange, especially the red behind it, like the native does. But you could tell this is way brighter and even on the open ones you're really getting more of a yellow and on the native you're staying uh, a lot more orange and even when these open up they're going to stay uh, more orange they might be a brighter orange but they're going to be noticeably different than this yellow color here. The next thing we'll talk about is the stems themselves. So you can see on this native fire bush, we stay red, a color of red and dark, pretty much down all the way to the more woody stems. And on this non-native, we're pretty much red right behind the flower and then we go immediately back to like a green maybe some red hues at the leaf node and that's about it another difference I would like to mention is if you notice wherever there's new leaf growth typically the native is going to send out three uh, world leaves. So you can see here we have three. Um, let me find another one. Mm. Some of these got a little burned out in the truck. So there you can see three. There you can see three. Here you can see the very beginnings of three coming out. 
Now you will occasionally have four, but for the most part, you're gonna see three. However, on your non-native, it's almost always gonna be four leaves. So there you can see on this new one, we got one, two, three, and four. And over here, all groups of four. Same thing, groups of four. Groups of four. <clears throat> so I think that fire bush is definitely very tricky, um, especially as a new gardener. Um, or a, even a new native enthusiast trying to identify these is, is tough. There are some non-natives that <clears throat> look even closer in resemblance to the native than the one I have here. Um, and it just makes it really tricky to know for sure. So I highly recommend um, putting a native and a non-native side by side and getting your hands on it, looking at the growth characteristics, looking at the difference in flowers, and then that will help you in the future to be able to um, have a little bit higher chance of identifying the non-native and the native. Um, my other recommendation is only buy firebush from a trusted nursery. Um, typically your big box stores are not going to carry the native and so you could pretty much rule out any firebush at a, like a Lowe's or Home Depot that's gonna be non-native. Um, your local nurseries, if you trust them and they typically sell trusted natives, then you're probably going to um, have high success with buying the native there. Um, but really, really make it trusted. I've seen nurseries mislabel this several times and people would end up walking away with the plant that they don't think is or a different plant than what they actually think it is. Um, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. If you're interested in buying some of the native firebush from us directly, we can ship it. Um, head on over to our store or send us a message and we'll try and work something out. All right.